G'day all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and today we're going to be taking a quick look at a new release of APT version 4.41 that is available for all users rather than the normal incremental updates only being available to those who have purchased a key and the reason for this is they've added it as a service pack release it does contain a couple of little extras now added in but most of its fixes for um, minor problems uh, particularly in session control part of session craft where people were having problems there and hopefully what's done in this one will fix it so even if you are running the demo version rather than the key version you can download this if you head over to the APT website so we'll quickly just nip in and have a look and see what's been added and what's been fixed so here we are in it and we can have a look and see what's going on the added stuff is at the top of the first two they're just code to prevent your computer to go to sleep or whatever while you're actually in an imaging session so hopefully that'll work and, and prevent you losing stuff because your computer decided to want to go to sleep somewhere um, one that was being requested if you control click on the park button now it will take you to the mounts home position and this is needed for some particular mounts they seem to have problems with just using a park command so shift click on park will still let you assign the park position but control clicking on it will actually send it to the home position rather than a park position and it's added a couple of SDKs for a few of the cameras for QHY, Player One and Altair Astro so just an updated drivers for them um, there have been a few people getting crashes with 4.40 so hopefully the general stability improvements they've added will fix that um, the next thing they've done is if you're using PixInsight and you're using the um, file naming regime in APT there was an extra underscore where if you use the XFCCD values in your file names and uh, PixInsight didn't like it so they've removed the extra underscore so that'll work properly now uh, just a small one which wouldn't affect it too many people but if you have the image tab as a floating window the info button which displays your fits header information uh, wouldn't work so fix that and now we're into a few of the session craft ones uh, section craft is a problem with an empty after tag it sometimes wouldn't let you do what you wanted to do so that's been fixed um, in session craft you were getting if you did a go to plus plus and your filter setting in the um, point craft was different to what you're using in your plan and your uh, binning was different it would actually use the uh, binning and filter from the go to plus plus when it restarted the plan so Ivo and Maria have fixed that one which is good um, if you tried to edit one at the time in session craft in your session control if you tried to edit a plan you've done in there uh, you would sometimes get this tag name already exists meaning you couldn't edit it so that's been fixed um, and in session craft on the uh, when you had the conditions for uh, on time and and next plan etc sometimes that would come up with the boxes auto checked which made it difficult to edit um, I found that was being caused by having refocus on filter change checked I don't know what was going on there but hopefully Ivo and Maria have fixed that totally now uh, fixed the problem resuming and plan when the user stops a go to or refocus during the plan uh, I haven't come across this one but uh, it's good to see that what that's fixed anyway um, fixed a problem with repeating a plan from session craft conditions if you've stopped for another plan and what was happening there is I had it one night where I was imaging uh, using session control the clouds rolled in so I've stopped the plan gone to do flats and instead of just doing the flat plan and finishing that uh, because session control was still in the mode of repeat until altitude uh, it kept repeating my flats plan so that's been fixed and I'm quite happy with that one um, fixed a problem with a clash between uh, session craft triggers and if refocusing is in progress it's I didn't have this one someone else reported it on the forums but uh, it created a few problems so they fixed that one uh, fixed the time order in 
session craft not being correct in some cases so that's another good one as I said a lot of this is to do with session craft and in particular session control which is really the brains behind everything that's going on in APT now with 4.40 so getting that right and that's the main reason this is available to everyone to get that right now to fix the crash with web cameras if you change the resolution uh, this is one I discovered when I was preparing to do my webcam video which I can do now is that if you had a web camera plugged in I had a USB one plugged in uh, and I went to change the resolution APT would crash when you restarted APT the new resolution would come up automatically when you started APT but changing the resolution would crash APT so hopefully that's fixed I haven't tested it yet um, fix the summary tab with the last focus settings not working properly so that's fine there and the last couple to do with object browsers where it wasn't displaying the correct times uh, for ob a small number of objects for uh, imaging time and maximum imaging time so that's what 4.41 does as I say it's available for all users so whether you have a key or not you can go download it from the APT forum uh, sorry the APT website if you have any problems please go to the APT website uh, and forums and report them in there and that way we can get them fixed nice and quick if something comes along I'd just like to say thank you to Ivar Maria for the quick work of getting this fixed up and getting everything working again and for making this available to all users rather than the uh, demo users having to wait to version 4.5 to get the fixes but that's it for this one i'll thank you all for tuning in um, and i'll talk to you in another vi video clear skies all and take care